Chisel and Bits. It is an absolutely incredible Minecraft mod that allows you to really create custom blocks from Minecraft blocks by carving them out however you want. I mean, if we look right here at just images and examples of the mod, some of the stuff that you can do, custom fences, for example, are absolutely incredible. You can also do things, this one blows my mind, look at this, like a railing, like a railing. It's not just railings, it's also floors. You can see a custom sort of chain mail, sort of floor cut out there from a block. There's so many examples. Windows, you can actually do like window panes with this mod and stairs, look at that, going up at more of a, you know, kind of specific angle, but also the railing. I mean, the details that can be done, even examples here of things you can do. It's really endless, the options with chisels and bits, a workshop made with this mod, amazing. I love it, and it's one of my favorite Minecraft mods out there. So because of that, we're going to show you how to install it in this video. First of all, though, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. So your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love and trust Apex so much that we also our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Now, the last to get Chisels and Bits, you want to go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the official Chisels and Bits download page, where you want to look at the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.18 section. Under that, you'll see Chisels and Bits Forge 1.18.2. Click on the orange download button to the right of that, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Now, you may need to keep or save this mod depending on your browser. That's going to be keep it in the bottom left Google Chrome or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. We also need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that basically allows Chisels and Bits to work with Minecraft altogether. So without Forge, Chisels and Bits is basically useless. So to get Forge, you want to go to the third link down below. That'll take you here, and you want to scroll down to the green Download Forge button. Once you're here, you want to make sure that Minecraft 1.18.2 is selected, and if it's not, you can select it from the left-hand side. Then, you want to come under Download Latest here, and click on the Installer button. That will then take us off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and step away from your computer for a second because you need to wait. And then after about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear at the top right. You can see it right up here. Click that red skip button and in the bottom left, Forge will download. It's safe to keep it as long as it's got Forge in the title, which ours does, or save it in the screen of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. 100% safe as long as Forge is in the title. Finally, we can minimize our browser here, and then we want to get Forge and Chisels and Bits to our desktop. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, or in the bottom left of your screen, or the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up, and then in here you'll find Forge and Chisels and Bits. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Once they are on your desktop, we're actually gonna be starting off with Forge. To do that, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or, and it could be either one of those, it could be you both don't have Java here, or your icons here, or you just don't have the correct icons, and either way, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Most likely, you don't have Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, including chisels and bits. So come here and download and install Java 17. We've got a video, we've got a text tutorial, whichever is best for you. Now, for most of you, that will allow you to open up Forge. However, you still may need to run the jar fix to make those icons look correct. So once you're here, run through the jar fix. It's also linked in the description down below. And that's finally going to allow you to get these icons how they should be. So right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the Mod System Installer, where you want to click on Install Client, and click OK. It's now going to download, install, and set up everything you need for Forge 1.18.2 to work in order to get chisels and bits. And by the way, this is the hard part. Getting Forge is the most difficult part of getting a mod. Once you've got Forge, it's so easy to add mods. But as you can see here, Forge is now finishing up its installation process. And when it is finished, it's going to come up and say, successfully install Client Profile Forge version 1.18.2. Click OK. It'll close out of Forge, and you can delete Forge from your desktop. Now all we need is chisels and bits. Let's get that installed. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icon and open up the Minecraft launcher. Then from the Minecraft launcher here, we want to make sure that we have our Forge profile selected. Now, by default, one should have been created for you, but let's say you don't have one. As you can see, we have one here. It says 1.18.2-Forge under it. In this case, we can click play and click play again. But if you don't have Forge here, or you don't have 1.18.2-Forge under it, 
click on installations. Then you wanna make sure modded is checked. You can see we unchecked modded and Forge disappeared. We check on modded and there it is. There is Forge, click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or the correct version of Forge, click new installation. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name this playdownbreakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible 1.18.2 grief protected survival and skyblock server. If you want a truly incredible Minecraft experience, go to playdownbreakdowncraft.com for the best SMP server out there. Now let's just go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And then we wanna select release 1.18.2 forge as you can see i had to scroll down a ways to find it but right there it is go ahead and click that and now we can change the resolution i'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game and click create in the bottom right now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.2 dash forge under it hover over this click play click play again and minecraft will open with forge installed now it's super simple to play chisels and bits in minecraft it's some dragging and dropping after you open a folder so here we are with Minecraft open. Since we have Forge installed, we have this mods button here. If you don't, go back, launch Minecraft with Forge. Once you click on mods, click on open mods folder on the bottom left. It's gonna open up your mods folder right like so. And then all you need to do to install chisels and bits is drag and drop it from your desktop into your mods folder. Then once it's in your mods folder, just go ahead and close out of it. Now it's not gonna be back here in Minecraft and it's never going to be until you click done and quick game. You then wanna reopen up the Minecraft launcher here. And then from the Minecraft launcher, make sure you're launching Minecraft with your Forge profile. Whether that is the play.breakdowncraft.com profile or the Forge 1.18.2 Forge default profile. Doesn't matter as long as it says 1.18.2 dash Forge here. And then go ahead and click play and then click play again to launch modded Minecraft. And now Minecraft will open up with the chisels and bits mod installed. It's that simple. It's that easy. And now you know how to get chisels and bits in Minecraft. From there, we can confirm Chisels and Bits is installed by going to the Mods tab, and there it is. And we can also jump in game. We can get a chisel and uh, start creating any block we want. Now, by default here, as you can see, we are, we're just using one. But I believe you can uh, toggle through the different modes. I just uh, forget how you do that off the top of my head. But all that information is on the wiki, which can be found from the download page. So, nevertheless, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more incredible content and enjoy the Chisels and Bits mod and all of the awesome stuff that can be done with it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.